We've made some additional enhancements to our embedded whiteboard, and in this video, we're gonna show you how a few of those work. One of the first things you'll notice when you fire up the embedded whiteboard is we've changed the background and the default pen color, so that's something that's noticeable right away. While I'm on the subject of the pen, if I touch the button to bring up the colors and the thickness menu, you'll notice I now have a color palette right here, and when I give that a touch, if I really wanna fine tune the color of that pen, I can make that happen from that palette. So that's one enhancement we've made. Over here, I've got my insert picture button, and we've talked about this in prior videos. But when I touch this button, we've got some additional features here. Now, if I choose the insert picture from the recent pictures window, we've seen this again in, in prior videos, but one addition that we've made is if I go to the file commander button, it actually allows me to insert a picture from my cloud storage solution including Google Drive, as you can see right there. So I'll choose this picture, and it'll insert it right there on the whiteboard for me to use. If I go back to this button, the one here in the middle is for a Google image search. So if I touch that, it brings up the search window. I'll go ahead and touch the box, brings up the touch keyboard. I'll insert my search term. In this case, I'll choose cute cat. And then here, my choice is, I'll choose this picture. When it highlights, it actually shows me the native size of that picture, that can be useful. And then I've got a plus button right there, which allows me to once again insert it right there on the whiteboard. And because it's a picture, it's an object, I can move it around the space and put it where I need it to go. The final button right here on the right side is to actually bring up the Google Home page and I can actually do entire web searches from this page. So I'll choose, once again, the search box, and it brings up the touch keyboard. I've actually got recent searches right here, so I'll choose one of these, and it brings up the results right here. So I'm looking for information on tigers, that's great. And then I've got a snapshot button right here. When I touch that, it actually allows me to crop the area of the page that I want. So I'll expand the box out, to give me what I'm looking for, and then when I'm ready, I can actually insert this by touching the check mark. And when I do that, it actually inserts that snippet right there on the whiteboard, and I can move it around again as an object. So we actually have additional uh, enhancements to the image insert uh, that was already there as part of the file commander. If I move over to this side, we already know that this plus button is to insert a new page. If I do a touch and hold, it gives me background choices, but that's another addition we've made, is additional backgrounds. So one of the choices, I can do some sheet music, like so. Do it again for you coaches out there and you wanna diagram plays. Bring up a football field, like that. Now we can diagram plays on that. And the final button that I have here is, sure enough, there's my image insert button. So I touch that. It allows me, once again, to choose an image from a location. I'll just choose one that I already have stored here on the panel, like that. And when I do that and hit OK, it will give me that as a background. And now I can insert whatever ink and objects I want as part of the background here. So those are the additional enhancements we've made to the whiteboard, making it even more useful than before.